Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the channel! I'm not dead. Sorry I haven't been uploading, I had a lot on my plate for a while. New job and all. Currently building and working on some reviews that you guys voted on in that poll I set up a couple months ago. And it looks like I'm going to be doing the Lightning Sykes. So until then, since some of you have been asking for a tour of my room, here it is. I'll give you a rundown of each shelf, but not everything's in the right place yet. And of course, it's far from finished. There's still a lot of shelf space that I need to fill up, LEDs to add, and of course, a lot of backlog to finish. And before I really begin this room tour, I want to address a common question I get. Where do I get my Zoid kits? Currently, I use three websites for it. Know this, I am not sponsored by any of them whatsoever, but I certainly would not decline that offer. Firstly, I have Amazon. Though not always the case, Amazon sometimes does have a pretty good price for the high end master model Zoid kits. They also provide free shipping for anything over $35, and realistically, all Zoids are going to be over $35, and I don't have to deal with the import fees. So I'll usually compare prices, and then if they're pretty good, I'll order it from Amazon. Keep in mind, I do live in Canada, so this may be different for many of you. Second place I tend to use is Hobby Link Japan. Their prices are fair, but there are other sites that have better pricing. But I love using these guys because they have a really good private warehouse system where I could store a lot of kits together and ship them out in one go, thus saving some money on the shipping. You can also pre-order from them and they have a pretty sizable selection. Next site I will recommend is actually Ami Ami. They're quite a bit cheaper than Hobby Link Japan's, therefore you can save some money and you're actually able to buy some used kits from them. Though some of those used kits are quite pricey. They also got a pretty good selection, but the downside is you're unable to have a private warehouse where you can store bulk orders. So say you only want one kit. Okay, you can just buy from Ami Ami, save money, pay the shipping, it gets shipped to you and you're good. And you may be wondering why is that so important? But let's say that kit is released in July and the next kit is released in like September. Do you want to pay double the shipping for each individual kit to be shipped separately? Or would you rather just have it stored together and shipped in one big go? Remember that Hobby Link Japan and Ami Ami are based in, well, Japan, so the shipping is from Japan. So do whatever that could save you money. And yeah, that's where I bought my Zoids. As for Gundams, they're more popular, so they're more easily sourced. You use the same sites or your local Gundam store. With that all being said, let's start this review, I mean room tour. So to get started, this is the left side of my room. All these boxes up here are of finished kits, except that perfect grade ashtray. And I'm keeping them for review purposes whenever I get to it. So starting with this shelf, I got the Master Grade Death Scythe Hell, alongside four of my favorite kits, the Master Grade Barbados, Master Grade Red Frame and Blue Frame, and also the Amplified Ryujin Maru, which I just absolutely love. Also got an SD Death Scythe Hell to go along with the Master Grade. Next up, we got the High End Master Model Blitz Team before they upgraded their Zoids. And in case you're wondering, I got these additional shelves from a plexiglass supplier. Next up, we have the High End Master Model Psycho Genosaur and Raven Custom, alongside the miniature organoids. And you might notice some alcohol in the display cabinets. I just like displaying them, I don't really drink. Next shelf, I didn't really have a theme. Got the 00 Sin Riser, displayed separately because that backpack is heavy. Also got the Masquerade Sengoku Asterisk, which I might move into another shelf. And I got the high grade Barbatoros because it just looks really cool. Now talk about random, down here I got the LEGO X-Wing Fighter, because I'm a big fan of LEGO, and I got this wooden jeep I got as a present, which was pretty fun to assemble, and lastly I got the 124th scale Camaro ZL1 because that's my favorite car. On the next shelf I got the Shenzhen Technology White Tiger and White Dragon, with the real great God Gundam in a weird pose, like, I'll fix that later. That reminds me I really need to finish the Azure Dragon and Black Tiger, just to fill that spot in. Don't know how fit it in, but I'll think of a way. Yeah, the God Gunner is also just a placeholder for now. We'll see what we do with it. Next up, I got the Saber Tiger and Great Saber. And that spot in the middle should be where my Lightning Sex is, but yeah, currently doing something with it. Also, if you're wondering, the skull in the back is a bottle of vodka. Coming down here, we have the High Master Model Darkhorn Harry Special with the Shadow and Firefox. Next up, we got the Mass Grade Double O Gundams over here. I even got enough space for the Mass Grade Natalie, which I bought from Japan. Just need to build the kit and review it with the Virtue. Coming to the bottom, we got the High End Master Model Golgulus and three Rev Raptors. A little homage to the ending of Jurassic Park. And the Golgulus is one of my favorite kits ever, just because of how big it is. In the next shelf, we got the Amplified Batman, which is kind of lonely. Doesn't look like they'll make any more Amplified superheroes. And we got the High End Master Model Iguan and Godos. Yeah, a lonely shelf. Down here, I got the LBX General, which just kind of sits there because it just fits. Also got the High End Master Model Death Singer ZS. And the high grade Jesta, just because I love the Jesta. Next up, we got the entry grade new Gundam, which is actually a fantastic kit. Let me know if you want me to review it. And I got the fucking drunk Blade Lager Bang version. It now has quite a difficult time standing up. And also got the Mastery Talkies. Hooray! Until I find something that fits better, these are all just placeholders. 
Now my first set of Master Grades I ever built, from the original boy band themselves that got me into Gundams. I could probably do better with the posing, but gonna need more action bases. Aside from the Wing Gundam having a difficult time holding up its gun, all the kits have held out pretty well, considering they've been released like maybe a decade ago? Yeah, it's been a while. Still great kits to add to your collection. I highly recommend them. Maybe I should review them. And lastly down here is from my Yokohama Gundam base collection. Also decided to add the Forger family. I got them from the Crane games while I was in Japan, so I guess this whole little shelf is Japanese memorabilia. In my next shelf, I got the 1100 scale no great Akatsuki. And this is the kit I usually compare gold to, because it was just done so well. I love Next up we got the high grade build Burning Gundam, really hope one day they'll make a master grade of this. And then we got the high master model Fang Tiger and high master model Wild Liger. And happy to say that both are holding up very well. And down here we got this uh, mechanical chopper thing that my fiance built. She wanted to display it so I shoved it in my cabinet. We also got the high master model Koenig Wolf with the sniper and missile set. Then we got the high master model Shield Liger, don't touch it. These last bottom shelves just got Funko Pops. From Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which I absolutely love. One of my favorite animes. Also got the Inuyasha vs. the Shomaru Funko, which is down here. And there's Furai Optimus Prime, which is a horrible kit. And I also have some random One Piece figures that I got from gifts. And the Thousand Sunny over here is my fiancé's. This and the bottom shelf is pretty much the same thing. Kind of Funko Pop and One Piece theme. Might just move these One Piece figures away. Kind of want to put model kits in here. And Usopp's got a broken leg. I'll fix that later. Next cabinet, the top one has some Iron Blooded Orphan kits. Man, I wish these were Master Grades. Huge fan of the design of the Gundams in this series. Also wish they made a full Mechanics Fusion Rebake Full City. Just because it looks so nice standing next to the Lupus Rex. And they went so beastly in that last episode. But for now, I guess the Leo Prime will just be a stand-in for that. Down here we have the Cassie Gundam with all the effect parts, and that looks fantastic. Pretty good centerpiece. Then I got my first 30 minute mission kit, and uh, the real great new Gundam and Ariel definitely need display bases. Also more Skull Vodka. And coming down we got the high and massive model Geno Breaker, Raven version, next to my Iron Kong. Still deciding how I should display these two. And that gold piece right there is just the other backpack for the Akatsuki. Still don't know really where to put it. And for my most loneliest kit, the high grade Nightingale. So big I can't really put anything else there. Next shelf we got the master grade Fanachita. Fenichina? Fenichina? Whatever. Can't remember the name. Great kit though. It shares the shelf with the Berserk Fury and Storm Tyran. Along with Chopper and some more alcohol. Down here we have the Penelope with the effect parts. Looking pretty good. And two boxes of unopened. Booster boxes of the first Digimon set. Then we got the Takara Tomy Burning Liger. Down here I have another Koenig Wolf because I absolutely love the kit. I really need to build the blue one. Yes I love it so much I actually have three. And back here it's not alcohol, it's actually cologne in the shape of a skull, and we got the Takara Tomy Omega Rex. Down here is just placeholders, we got the real great grandpa, which I absolutely hate. Thank god they're making a 2.0, and we got the real great Zeong with the effect set. On the other side, all the model kits here except the Thousand Sunny are unbuilt. There's also this little shelf over here that I just put random knickknacks. Some of it also belongs to my fiance, we just throw shit here. And then I just use it for size comparison later on. Now in my final detolf, I just have random stuff everywhere, there's the real great Hainu, there's the real great Sazabi, there's Pokemon, there's a Bruce Lee thing in the back over there. I really don't know where to put all my Pokemon figures right now. And over here we got the Master Grade Strike Rouge, Amplified Mel Greymon, and Melus Kembu. Yep, lots of randomness here. Over here we got Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Alongside the Entry Grade Arc 72, Master Grade Arc 72, Master Grade MK2, Master Grade Zaku 2, and Godzilla Funko Pop. Yeah, this uh, whole shelf is just full of randomness. That includes some stuffies on the bottom. Now for my mega size shelf, which I bought from some guy for like 300 bucks, it's like 80 inches by 40. The top shelf is just filled of my Digimon kits. And at this point, unless I kind of remove some of the action bases, it's filled to maximum capacity. But god damn do I love looking at this. Might try making some room by running some fishing wires. That's it for Digimon, next up is my Gundam Seed shelf. Just the first season. Not Gundam Seed Destiny, I need another shelf for that. Not completed yet, and it currently shares some space with some LBX kits. Lastly, down here I have my Yu-Gi-Oh kits. Can't wait to add the Egyptian gods to this collection. Because if you didn't know, they did announce the figure I sent Amplified Wing Dragon of Raw. They even showed off the model kit, and in the background, you actually see the silhouettes of the other Egyptian god monsters. So for now, I have plenty of space for those three kits. Can't wait for them to be announced. And I'm still holding out for a Dark Magician and Buster Blader kit. 
And I also decided to shove a motorcycle over here because... Card games on motorcycles. Card games on motorcycles! Card games on motorcycles. Yeah, definitely need a motorcycle here. Also one of my favorite builds of all time. Now for the bottom part of my shelf, this is just my backlog. And yeah, there's a decent amount of it. A mixture of gunpla and zoid kits that I will definitely finish one day. A bullshit? A bullshit. Currently we have the high mass model Liger Zero X, Red Horn, Got the Terrorist Bomber, another Gun Sniper, some Booster Cannon sets for my high mass model Red Rus. There's also the Master Grade Dom. Love the Dom so much, I even got the Rick Dom. Also got the Master Grade Infinite Justice, Eclipse, and Destiny. Also, of course, the Liger DCSJ, because I love it so much. Of course, backlog is not confined to one little place, nor is my room cleaned or organized. Got a combination of backlog as well as kits already finished but are keeping the box just stacked up over here. My pile of shame continues to grow. It extends to my last shelf where I stack some more boxes on top of it. Only thing here completed is the Golgulus. For this last shelf I have a bunch of random stuff. There's some wands I got from Universal Studios for my fiance and I, some figures I got from Japan, the NXS Digimon figures, and the real great Appian because I have no idea where to put it. Now coming on to the second shelf, we actually have a theme over here, we got the Liger Zeros. Still deciding whether or not to fit the Liger Zero X and the normal High Massimo Liger Zero in here, but for now the Chogokan Liger Zero is sitting here next to the High Massimo CAS Liger Zeros. Still thinking about how I could fit the other two kits. Now coming down over here, we got a couple of Pikachus I got from the Pokemon Center, and at the time of the video, here's the current 3 40th Anniversary Zoids released from Takaratomi. We got this stuffed dog from Japan and I'm just keeping it here because it reminds me of my other dog. And lastly down here I got the LEGO Daytona SP3. I've loved LEGO since I was a kid so this was a very fun build. And yeah that's it, that's the whole room tour. Yeah a lot of my displays are kind of everywhere, haven't gotten a perfect place for everything yet. Hopefully that will change but probably not. Thanks again for watching my video, I hope you like it, I enjoy making it. To the low percentage of people who actually like watching my videos, uh, sorry I haven't uploaded, I've been pretty busy with life, but I'm back to making some videos so hold out a little bit longer. Thanks again for watching, take care, bye!